are going to be talking about Avatar 3 here. Wow, that, I mean, Avatar that, 3 news. This is pretty exciting. Uh, Charlie Chaplin's granddaughter, mm -hmm. Una Chaplin, what a cool name. Oh, I know, right? Is part of the Fire Navi, she is the Fire Navi leader in Avatar 3. And of course, we know that there's a big time jump set for Avatar 4 because James Cameron has spoken about how the, he shot the first 15 minutes mm -hmm. of Avatar 4 with his young cast. Because they would, if they waited, they would age so much. Like, and there's like a yeah. six year time jump. So it's really, I mean, you know, James Cameron's thought about these Avatar movies. At least we're getting back to authorship. And they're going to Earth in Avatar 5. That should be fun. Exactly. And a lot of you might recognize Una from Game of Thrones. Yep. She's iconic in that show. The Red Wedding. And she's a wonderful, wonderful actress. And what we have confirmed here, too, is that she is going to be the leader of the Fire Navi, or the Ash People, I believe is what they're the calling Ash them. The Ash People. Because they are they all do all of their life around the volcanoes of Pandora, which is really, really interesting. Also, at the same time, I can't help but make the comparisons to Avatar The Last Airbender every time I hear about a new Navi subset, basically, where I just keep wanting to be like, and then everything changed when the Fire Navi attacked. Well, I'm Earth, really air, fire, and water. Yeah. I, I mean, I do think, though, that, um, and these are, they're, I guess they're not nice. Apparently not. Uh, they're a Apparently, little hardcore. Yeah. These are the more aggressive, antagonistic Navi. Yes. I mean, that's, I, you know, mm -hmm. if I was living around volcanoes, I might be that way, too. Yeah. You know, there's, there's when I was a kid, uh, I went to Hawaii for the first time, and I was terrified to get on a plane, but that's a different story. But there was Madame, Madame Pele, Pele? P-E-L-E, I think. Hmm. And she was like the goddess of volcanoes, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes. And I, I thought when I first went there that I would I would want to grow up and marry the goddess of volcanoes because how cool would that be? Ooh. I was dispelled of that uh, on that same trip, trip because we went to the top of the Haleakala volcano in Maui where you could go down the sliding sands into the crater. And I was terrified to do so. Oh, yeah. So my desire to meet and marry Madame Pele was... Uh, was Just actually thwarted <laughs> when I actually could have gone down into a volcano to meet her. I eventually did, but with much trepidation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm excited. I think this is exciting. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're, we, I, I think the, the water Navi and the, the forest Navi, I, they were kind of, you know, they can hang out together. But yeah. fire ash people? I'm interested to see it. And I love the report so far, too, talking about how so far we've only seen the Navi, uh, you know, antagonized by outsiders really when it comes down to it and there may be some you know butting of heads within these tribes and everything but we haven't seen anyone actually be really really aggressive within these tribes and so i think that's something interesting to look at here too especially yeah. since we know that the next film a couple down the road either four or five is going to be earthbound so i think we do need to explore more of these subsects and see you know how all of these cultures work together or don't I think it's going to be a really, really cool exploration, furthering James Cameron's idea of people's relationship with nature, how it affects them, and how it affects others. I got a question for you. Okay. I might have an At answer. At the end mm. of the Avatar saga, mm. do you think that Iowa is going to be transported somehow to Earth so Iowa can reinvigorate the planet and bring Earth, revive oh. Earth back? And that is the that is the 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 the, the big. Um, the big message of the entire Avatar saga is that we have to be Iowa. Only we can save our own planet. I would hope that it instead would be a seedling of some kind, not completely moving it, because the idea of taking well, yes, something I mean, that not, belongs to indigenous people yeah, yeah, we're not gonna, no, 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 no. Yes, very this, off. <laughs> yes, I didn't mean that Iowa was going to. No, no, no. It would be an, I, I would, would her tendrils would reach out. Yeah, I think that would be Earth. really cool if there was some kind of saving of Earth, because that's been one of the big thrusts here, too, especially with Edie Falco's character talking about, like, resources. We don't got them anymore. Right. We're done so. We got to figure something out. So I think that would be really neat if it was something where we could find some sort of symbiotic relationship that goes, OK, you all get to continue to exist. We all get to continue to exist without having to, you know, pillage essentially and take somebody else's resources because that's been such a big part of this so far as well is just earthlings coming and taking so much so it'd be really nice to see if there was some actual accord that could be met by the end of this saga and maybe ultimately it's jake who shows the way of this how two civilizations can work together and his ultimate sacrifice which would be himself yeah would lead to the resurrection of the planet that'd be really or cool. something yeah or sigourney weaver's reincarnated daughter of sorts yep I'm interested to see more on that. Yep. That's really cool. She stuff. is Iowa. Mm -hmm. I think. I feel like that too. It's very yeah. exciting.
What do you think? Yeah, let us know what you think, you guys. Go to the comments below. Let us know your thoughts and theories about these Avatar films. And let us know if you are excited about this next installation. Bring it on the fire, folks, all right? We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass offers classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class instructors at the very top of their fields. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long. And Masterclass is completely accessible on your phone, the web, smart TV, and available via audio mode to listen to classes on the go. They have over 2,500 video lessons from over 180 of today's most brilliant minds. They're all available anytime, anywhere on iOS, Android, desktop, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Now, obviously around here on the John Campus Show, we love our movies. So why not learn filmmaking from Jodie Foster or maybe directing from Ron Howard himself or the great Neil Gaiman doing his masterclass on the art of storytelling. And you guys have heard me talk about my favorite masterclass, Business Strategy and Leadership by Big Papa Iger himself, Bob Iger, the new and returning CEO of Disney. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class. And as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Just go to masterclass.com slash campia now. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off masterclass.